Gyrosphere is a self-riding all-terrain vehicle that two passengers can ride in and they get on at the loading ramp. And action. And it's basically a six and a half foot diameter plexiglass sphere. Inside is a gyroscopic computer-driven stabilization system. When you get inside, the doors close, but then they become part of the sphere that rolls. The actual design of them was a young artist named Ron Mandel who did all the drawing and all of the three-dimensional work. Usually what happens is I'll read a few script pages or get some notes from Ed, our production designer, from Colin, the director, and he'll say the scene calls for this type of vehicle. I'll come up with some initial sketches that Ed might approve. Ed will mark up on those, and I'll refine uh, his sketches into a three-dimensional drawing that he can present to Colin and get approval. This is a huge thing for me. I feel a lot better about it now than I ever did. We had an early show and tell with uh, the gyro ball. At that point, it was mostly plywood and some simple plastic pieces, but it was basically a full-size mock-up. And Stephen took a look at the gyrosphere, and, and there's an area above the head. And he said, wouldn't it be cool if there were some spotlights pointing out? And even though you're going to be shooting this in the day, you'll never need the lights. At least we'll be able to see that there are I just lights. figured that the scene park is also open after dark. And if you want to get into the gyrosphere and you want to go through uh, an area of plant-eating dinosaurs, that you would want to have lights on the vehicle. I learned that we're working with Steven when he has a cool thing like that, or any director, any producer, when they have a note like that, you make sure it makes it into the final design. So we're going to be making three gyrospheres. The first is actually already shipped. That was a rush and they needed it in Louisiana to get set up on the gimbal. Uh, and then the other two are going to be going to Hawaii. My role here is uh, to do all the lamination, do all the prepping of the molds, laminate the floors, we do all the fiberglass pieces and then body work and then prep everything for paint. Once all the parts are cut out, we start sanding them, getting them ready for primer, making sure that all the body work is done. Once it, all that's done, I go ahead and primer everything. Then all the guys come in, sand everything. I help them out with pretty much throughout the whole process until it's ready for paint and then that's when I come in and just, you know, shoot our color. Originally, we were going to have gyro balls in different colors, sort of like it, uh, another theme park you might imagine. There's a, a blue car that rides up, a yellow car, a green one, and we decided on blue. That seemed to be the theme for Jurassic World. These parts here, they were painted last night. We brought them in and we just have a heater in the back and we're drying them. Everything is really fresh so we can't actually touch it right now. As soon as we can, we want to bring it out to the shop and start to pre-assemble. The bigger pieces are some of the easiest ones, but yeah, you have to be more careful because if anything goes wrong, I have to do the whole thing again, you know? We needed to add a lot of structure because the actors are going to be pretty violently shaken on this. So they've got this big gimbal rig that's going to be simulating it being grabbed by a dinosaur and bit all around. It was pretty challenging because we had to keep the jaw ball at three and a half inches from the ground. So it worked for uh, visual effects. And then uh, later on this week, we'll wreck the jaw ball for the final destruction when the dinosaur smashes it on the ground. Welcome aboard the Gyrosphere, an amazing machine made possible by science. Because of the talent that Adam has with his crew at Wild Factory, they really made the gyro ball possible. Yeah, and we're getting there. It's been a great crew. Yeah. When you see the movie, you're just going to think, oh, there's this really cool gyrosphere that these two kids are riding around in. But it really uh, is the work of a lot of hands and a lot of, uh, a lot of people. That's some real machinery right there. I think uh, we went above and beyond the build. <laughs>